Hi and welcome to the Health Chat. If you're new here, I'm Mrs. Cutefelts and these are almost monthly series where I share with you my makes, my felting plants and all my wooly goodie purchases. If you like wet felting or needle felting, please consider subscribing and hit the bell so you get notifications when my episodes come out. So this is going to be short and sweet episode where I share with you everything I bought during my trip to UK. I visited Yarndale and the now open World of Wool shop. So I think we can jump right in. A little backstory about me so you can understand what I was focusing on during my trip a little bit better. So I come from Latvia, I do both wet felting and needle felting and we have a wonderful shop that carries carded wool. But I don't know a lot of places that provide wool tops and we don't really have colorful wool blends or wool locks. So I was really focused on those two. If you haven't seen my vlog from the trip, I will link it at the end of this video. And I would like to mention that everything I show you today will be linked in the description. If you don't know where to find the description, just look for the title of this video. It will usually be under the little box I'm in right now. And next to the title, there will be either a little triangle pointing down or see more option and when you click on that you will open up the description and there will be timestamps and links and everything else i can add so you can go ahead and purchase some woolly goodies for your own projects i think we can start with these beautiful locks this vibrant woolly heaven comes from a company called wish you were here i spotted them on yarndale and the lady there was super lovely and chatty and the locks are truly beautiful. I love the curl and I love the colors they use. Maybe I took a little bit more than I needed, but right now I use this beautiful colorful pot as my room decor. And I love looking at these locks every single day. I couldn't wait to try them out and I figured I can add them to the cat cave I'm creating for my friend Tori. She has four gorgeous cats and I really want to give her one of my cat caves. Before the trip I had already created the pebble cat cave but when I got home I decided to create some kind of floral border. I don't know if it comes off as one, I really hope so. If you have seen Wisteria then that's the plant that was in my mind when I created this decor and I think it looks lovely even if it doesn't resemble wisteria. I'm not sure. I'm really self-conscious when it comes to flowers, felting flowers, wool paintings of flowers. I don't know, it's really a known territory for me and it really makes me self-conscious. So I hope it looks beautiful and she will love it nevertheless. I used purple and blue locks from Wish You Were Here, then I added green yarn I already had and some little bits of another Wenders locks I found at the Yarndale. These are Teeswater locks from Eleanor Decor. She has the most dreamy and fairy-like pastel -y color scheme I have ever seen. I absolutely adore all her products and the purple, blue and pink locks complemented the really rich colors from the Wish You Were Here. I'm not sure if I can share with you all my felting plans for these locks just yet because they do require some experimentation so I know that things will work out but for now I can assure you that I plan to make natural looking curly sheep, at least one curly sheep in near future hopefully and some felted pumpkins that would really look gorgeous with these orange locks and some wet felted soap. We'll see how the locks integrate with the other fiber during wet felting. I don't have any kind of experience with it right now, but I will definitely report back once I try. I was sort of hoping to see more sellers during Yarndale offering wool locks and I know that my friends from Felts by Philippa Patreon spotted some sellers that I missed and I really do need some green locks for one specific project that I cannot share with you just yet 
But I'm telling you all of this just to justify why am I being naughty and why I just ordered some green locks from Barn to Yarn. This is another lock seller that I absolutely adore. She has beautiful, colorful tease water locks and I am now patiently waiting for my order to arrive. I hope to share with you some wool locks in my next felt chat. The only other thing I got from Yarndale are these wool naps from Adeline Walker. Naps is another thing that is not available for me at home, so I was really happy to spot some. And this is a beautiful mix of blue, purple and green that I plan to use in some wet felting projects that would involve dinosaurs. Now you might wonder if this is all I got from the Yarndale, what's in this big bag? Well, this bag was kindly gifted to me by Lovely Felt by Philippa. I stayed with her for a couple of days and she was really spoiling me. And she gifted me this bag, which is from one of the previous Yarndales. And I went to the world of wool and filled it up. I wasn't planning to go there, but Philippa kindly offered and I was just thrilled. We were not allowed to film there, so if you haven't been there, I will try to describe it to you as best as I can. So imagine woolly heaven, that's it. If you have ever ordered from their store online, you probably know that they have a wide variety of products, but seeing them all together was really something else. It was a bit overwhelming and I felt that I need a nap, but I also truly enjoyed it. You can go in any of the aisles there are all their wools in huge boxes and you can weigh how much you want which i think is brilliant especially for me as someone who does wool paintings i don't need a lot of wool from one specific color but i need many different shades of each of the colors so i checked out a lot of products i have been thinking about but i only picked those that I really need right now for specific projects that I am already working on or plan to work in near future. And then I also took some colors that I just couldn't resist. And now I will just stop rambling and show you everything. I love their mixed bags because of the variety they provide and the price point is great. So I picked out this Barky Brown mixed bag, which has five different merinos in it and they're all different shades of brown. Up till now I have only created wool paintings with birds and I want to try squirrel, fox or bear and they all ask for brown, so I think that this wonderful mixed bag will be in use a lot. For my wool paintings, I also got Coriadel Raven Black Jacob Top and Superfine Merino Charcoal. These are all slightly different shades of black that maybe don't come across on camera really well, but in the wool paintings, blacks are always a challenge. And you can also see some naps. Some of them are for the dinosaur project I mentioned before, but the white ones are for some mushroom projects. Moving on to some more colorful blends. Here you can see Taste the Rainbow, which is textured tweed wool. I absolutely love their tweed wools. I don't have a specific project in mind for this one, but I just couldn't resist. The next one is Myth, which is perfect for pumpkins. I still hope to create some during October. And the third one is one of the space dyes, oh, oh, Venus. This is Venus and I just love how rainbowy it is. And yeah, it makes me think about unicorns. Fun thing they have in store is the botany bin. Basically, it's discounted wool. There are many blends they do carry, some they don't carry anymore, some tiny amounts of the custom blends they have made, and you can just pick some and have it with amazing price. Of course, I couldn't resist, so here's what I got from there. First, I spotted some silk, and I am really eager to try it out in some wet felting projects because it adds shine and texture, and I don't have it available at home, so yeah really looking forward to it. 
I think it's mulberry silk top. I'm not sure because they are not adding labels to anything in the botany bin. So you are always guessing. Either way, it's silk and I'm super excited. This is Mering, I believe. I'm not sure again, but I believe it is because it's super soft. So it could be the super fine merino blend with a great mulberry silk. I don't know if the camera is picking up the silk, but there is tiny amounts of the shiny, beautiful fiber in there. And I hope to create some shape using this as the coat. These two blends are in a bit crazy colors, but I just couldn't resist. Feels like merino and there is definitely some silk in it. So they are quite similar to their constellation blends. And now I just have to come up with some ideas for them. And that's all I got from Oral the Fool. I am definitely motivated to felt more so I have more space for new wool in my craft room. Thank you so much, Philippa, if you're watching for this opportunity. It was truly amazing. With that, we are closing the haul from my trip. And the only thing I bought in Latvia this month for my felting project is this makeup holder or makeup brush holder. Cosmetic organizer. Okay, it's called cosmetic organizer. I do plan to use it for felting needles. I do have felting needles from different brands and they all have different color codes. So I figured that I need some kind of container with different sections where I could separate each of the needle types. I just thought I share this idea with you. Maybe it's helpful and I hope to report it back how it's going and is it working in one of my future videos. I also linked similar makeup organizer in the link in description if you want to get one for yourself from Amazon. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you more felts. Well, the trip and the vlog took some time, but now I'm trying to felt for at least one hour a day. So in the next episode, I will definitely have more felts to show you. I am now working on Highland Cow Head Archie, which is course by Felts by Philippa. And I hope to show you the results in my next felt chat. It's going to be a name day gift for my husband. And he has chosen quite the funky colors. I'm not sure if he remembers that he said that he wants one. So it's going to be a nice surprise. And I'm working on some other Christmas gifts, which is a little bit tricky because this is the time of the year when you're felting, but you can't really share because you don't want to spoil the surprise so yeah i will try to find some way around that then the wet felting tutorial for the gnomes is coming out soon and what else i had some plans on creating mushrooms trying out wet felting them and creating tutorial but then i saw the amazing material that Serafina Fiber Art came out and it's everything you can wish for. I don't have anything to add. So I really do suggest you check it out if you haven't already. Um, I will hopefully find some time and create mushrooms. I want some Christmas tree ornaments that look like toadstools and stuff like that. I hope you're having amazing time felting your own projects. Share in the comments what you are working on right now. And thank you for hanging out with me. See you in the next one.